Hey everybody, welcome back to HNS Collectibles. This is Cody. Uh, time for the weekly haul, so a couple days late. Wanted to get this out Sunday. Did not. Never seem to anymore. <laughs> Don't even know why I try. Um, things have just been crazy busy lately. Uh, but anyway, I was able to get out, go to a couple places. Um, uh, over the weekend, I ran down to a new record store that I've been visiting. Uh, down in Evansville, Indiana. So if you're in the southern Indiana area or northern Kentucky, check out Atmosphere Collectibles. Um, really nice folks in there. And uh, uh, we're, we're just really in tune with what I'm after. They, they know that I like soundtracks now after talking to them. And uh, Ashley there pulled out a box from underneath a, a, a table of records. Let me go through it. Uh, they hadn't even priced them yet, you know, so uh, I was just happy about that. They ordered in one specifically for me that I'll get to, but uh, I was able to hit there. I was able to hit a Walmart that actually had NECA figures, you'll see. And then I went by my disc replay like normal. So uh, just starting with uh, the movies uh, at Walmart, I picked up Color Out of Space. I'd already seen this, really enjoyed it. And they had the uh, 4K uh, marked down to, I think, 1296, the same as the Blu-ray. So I went ahead and picked that one up. That was at Walmart. And then at Disc Replay, I uh, found this uh, nice set of the Universal Classic Monsters. Now, I've already got Frankenstein and Invisible Man. Or no, Frankenstein and the Mummy and a Steelbook. Uh, and I used to have a Universal Monster collection that I gave away. Um, but yeah, I thought I needed this and it's got, I don't know if it's showing up very well, but a lenticular cover, um, with a little bit of movement from them. So that's cool. Glad it had the slip cover. Uh, then for what I thought was a real good price, I picked up this, uh, 50 years of James Bond box set. Um, this is really cool. Uh, two books slide out. And as you go through, the movies are labeled by what year they were from. And now this is only the 22 film version. Uh, it does not have Skyfall with it. Um, and I'm not even too sure if Skyfall is the latest Bond movie. I hadn't really watched the Daniel Craig ones much. I'm not into those. I need to give them another chance. Uh, the ones I like, of course, are Sean Connery. And then Pierce Brosnan. But now that I have them all in a set, I'm going to give them all another look. Um, so we'll just start with the big ones. Got the uh, Funko Halloween 13-day advent calendar. Um, so it's going to be kind of hard to uh, wait and uh, <clears throat> not open this thing up or start opening it till mid-October. Uh, but the uh, figures that it lists, anyway, are from Annabelle, It, Little Shop of Horrors, The Shining, The Nun, Beetlejuice, The Exorcist, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and The Lost Boys. So it would be interesting to see what little uh, mini Funkos I get out of that. Uh, then, at Walmart, uh, I was able to pick up the uh, Friday the 13th remake uh, NECA Jason. And there'll be a, eventually a Friday video on him. I was able to pick up at the Walmart um, the Predator 2 Ultimate City Demon uh, convention exclusive. And this one is cool because it's got the uh, light up box. So this might actually be one that I just keep in the box. Um, Instead of uh, taking it out and trying to tear all that out, I'll be, there'll eventually be a Friday video of him too. But uh, you can see his foot down on the bottom is clear, like he's trying to transition. Um, pretty cool. So let's see. Set that to the side. Uh, then this is also from Walmart, but not my Walmart. <laughs> uh, John over at Project Ellsworth picked this up at a Walmart for me and sent it to me. So thank you, John. Um, but it's the Evil Dead 2 Ultimate Ash. Uh, and I'll eventually do a Friday video on him as well. Then, uh, getting into the records that I picked up. 
so down there at atmosphere collectibles I got the mash soundtrack um, which this has a lot of dialogue and uh, audio from the movie Uh, sometimes when you complain the universe answers I've been saying lately that I needed the soundtrack to Star Trek 3 uh, because I have parts 1 2 and 4 on vinyl so I found part 3 there and this one is interesting because it is a 2 LP set um, but uh, only the first LP is full the second LP only has a three minute track on side A and side B is completely blank. Um, not too sure why they did that, but uh, uh, interesting nonetheless. Also picked up Lethal Weapon. Uh, you know, love the Lethal Weapon series. Um, I want to find Lethal Weapon 3 now uh, because I like the Clapton and Elton John songs on it. But this has got some score with it um, and, and really like it. And all these were in really good shape. Uh, this was an Amazon purchase, but I got the airplane soundtrack. And when I say soundtrack, I say that kind of loosely. Um, it's definitely different than the CD that I have. So I've got a expanded release on CD from La La Land Records of Airplane that has pretty much every bit of music in the movie. This is mostly dialogue from the movie it's not quite what i was expecting I, I still like having it um but i do love the airplane score it was a very good score um the the liner notes in the cd i, I got a kick out of it uh elmer bernstein said that you know after watching the movie he approached the soundtrack as if a uh very good young uh composer got the job and completely overdid it <laughs> So I always thought that was funny. Uh, another used Amazon purchase, uh, The Return of the Pink Panther. So I like picking up the Pink Panther albums uh, and the soundtracks from them because they weren't all the same. Um, Henry Mancini did a real good job of kind of changing them up and jazzing them up a little bit between movies. Uh, also got, this was down at Atmosphere Collectibles, Revenge of the Pink Panther, still with the shrink wrap on it. It had been opened, but very nice shape and plays very well. And let's see, uh, the one that they ordered for me and got in. So this is, uh, who is it again? Third Man Records, uh, The Hateful Eight. And it's a two LP set in a trifold, and I can't even get all this in the camera at once where I'm at. But there's all eight of them. The case is reversible, so you can, you know, flip it around and have it on your shelf like that. Um, the records are just standard black, not colored or anything. Uh, and it comes with two posters and a 12 by 12 booklet of pictures from the movie so there is some pieces missing from this uh, but it's the pieces of music that had originally been intended for the thing so really all of Morricone's original score is there I think and then this was a great pickup I'd read that this was coming available and this is from uh, At The Movies, Music on Vinyl, but the Judgment Night soundtrack in an orange uh, kind of fire uh, colored vinyl. So this will eventually be a, a colored vinyl Tuesday uh, record. But I love the Judgment Night soundtrack, the mix of rap groups with heavy metal groups. Um, that's one that I had from you know way back in the 90s on CD. So... So that's the haul. Um, not too bad for a week. Uh, got still so many things coming in the mail. It's killing me. Uh, waiting on some of them. Uh, and and then Amazon canceled one of my orders. So I had to get it from somewhere else. And yeah, just too much going on. <laughs> and uh, a lot of things coming. So that's it for now. Like and subscribe uh, if you haven't. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and come back and see me. Thanks.